Hello, this video is about how to create an SQL Server database for your project and connect your web form to this SQL Server database. So uh, basically in a video studio, there are various ways to create a database and attach to your web form or your project. But uh, here we will learn a simple way uh, to create a database and attach to your web form that is uh, SQL Server database. So quickly start, click on new project. Select empty template. Okay. Then uh, go to your project and add a new web form. Okay. Then add your form contents to this web form. Make text box, uh, select a uh, drop down list, submit button, and all that. Let's add text box, another text box, and one submit button. Uh, now, uh, let's add a SQL Server database. To your project first right click on your project name then add new item uh, here you can see visual c sharp go to data section then here you, you can see sql server database select it and add to your project then it will ask that uh, this will create an app data folder to your app, uh, project select yes then uh, here you can see app data folder is created along with database1.tmdf your database file is created now we have to add a table uh, into that uh, database file uh, go to server explorer here you can see a data connection then go to database1.mdf and expand the database.mdf click on tables and add new table Visual Studio gives you two, two options to create your table using uh, this UI or uh, this uh, SQL schema. Uh, let's say uh, try with uh, UI. Add uh, one column username. The data type will be varchar. We don't allow null. Then roll number. Uh, this will be also varchar. Roll number means uh, along with the character like ISO roll numbers. Allow, don't allow nulls. Then uh, uh, here you can see uh, in our web form we don't have a uh, uh, text box for ID, but uh, in our database we have a column for ID. So uh, this can be used for uh, as a primary key or uh, to uh, to our table. Uh, let's add to increment it it can be done by using identity so it start it will start with one and uh, increment with one automatically uh, as soon as you add a new data to your uh, table then this this is the important step uh, note that uh, click on this update button uh, uh, present in left to top play on update then click on update database uh, wait a second we forgot to name the table name then click on update unless you click on this update database button your table and its column will not be stored in the database so you make sure that you click this update database there uh, you can see update completed successfully uh, then go to your web form 
uh, we want to store the in, uh, text box information in as soon we click on the button so we have to write a code for that uh, uh, here is you can see button one dot click function then uh, as as you click on the button uh, the uh, data will should be stored in the database and uh, we have to we should redirect to the another page that is like our home page and etc etc uh, this can be used for login pages like uh, when we take the username and password from the user after clicking that uh, the data uh, is checked in the database behind and the user should be redirected to the home page so response dot redirect to home page so we have to create a home page add new web form name it as home add then we will create a grid view in this home page so uh, as we click on submit button uh, our info should be stored uh, in the database and it will be shown also in the in this home page so for that uh, click on toolbox then navigate to data and select sql data source here you can configure your data source select on database one dot mdf as we are created and exist in this app data folder then click on next then please note this connection string it will be useful later uh, you can name this connection as you want then select your table that is user info and there are stored shows the columns select star then click on next here you can you can test query to check that the uh, connection is successful or not uh, it shows the column that means uh, the connection is successful then click on finish then add a grid view a grid view is for just to show your database content in the web page a simpler way and choose a sql data source one as we already created up here you can also auto format your grid view as you want then we have to write a code for uh, to store the info uh, these two text box info to database so click on button then uh, first of all you have to add to uh, import to namespaces like using system dot data dot sql client and using system dot configuration so uh, then we will make first connection for that sql connection con is equal to new sql connection then we will use configuration manager to make a connection for us uh, configuration manager dot connection string and here here you have to give your connection string as i already mentioned that in my case it is a db connect dot connection string so this will do uh, your connection work uh, connection with your project and your database then you have to create uh, open the connection con dot open it's a function then uh, you have to uh, write a sql query to uh, to insert data from the text boxes to store into the database so first uh, write a command uh, sorry 
insert into user info if you forgot your table name and all that you can just go your uh, server explorer and you can check it here your table name is user info and provide the column names so i uh, user we are only concerned about username and role number so write here username and role number then values provide user name and role number so showing some error okay then let's create a sql command uh, cmd equal to new sql command the parameters will be uh, what you want to do and where you want to do means what you want to do insert where you want to do on connection means c1 con then uh, this is uh, running a command but you have to provide the values for your username and password for which we have to do that uh, cmd dot parameters add with value uh, here will be at username and for which value test box one dot text and let's copy paste this here you write row number and text box through dot text now you have to run that query so type cmd that's our sql command dot execute non query it will just uh, work for insertion and insertion type of a command for uh, if you want to retrieve the contents from a database uh, you have to use uh, execute uh, scalar or uh, execute reader these types of command uh, you can check out the for uh, various purposes uh, which different uh, uh, functions are there on a uh, stack or flow websites or all that uh, here we are only concerned about insertion of data into our database so same dot execute non query that's okay then um, we should close our connection connection dot close okay uh, don't forget to put in all in trackage that's okay so uh, once again let's note it down uh, we have created for the SQL connection then made this connection open then uh, write uh, uh, written an query then uh, made an SQL command and then fired a query so let's see works or not run the project here is our web form let's try Here you can see 
uh, your database is created and the values you entered in a previous page are added to the database and also it's shown on the new home page uh, let's try another this here you can see the another uh, the contents are added to database and here you can see uh, the uh, id is attained and converted to two uh, so um, we are we came to know that uh, our database is uh, successfully added and uh, attached to our web form so thank you for watching